Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakaq, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, the title of this video is When I First Came Into the Truth, I Cried. Okay? And, um,. You know, that's that's the truth, okay? I'm not saying that um, for my own personal glory or anything like that. But um, basically, uh, at that point in time when I came into the truth, um, you know, I had uh, pretty much a lot of money, you know, and I ended up losing it, okay? And... Um, I pretty much was, you know, losing who I was, you know, at that point in time to the point where, um, basically the Lord just, um, you know, he, he was basically building me up into, to, to coming into the truth. Okay. So once I found out the truth, okay immediately i knew that it was the truth okay so one of the reasons why i cried is because i realized that this is what is required for me to be a man okay because at that time i wasn't working or you know um i, I like i said i had money but i ended up you know going from a situation where you know by being able to buy a house to or two houses to live with my girl at the time, you know, and then I came into the truth, and I wasn't working, so that, the scriptures, you know, and, and realizing what the, the, this truth uh, consists of, even though I was, you know, a, a total babe, you know, I wasn't even uh, technically in the truth yet, I just knew that this was the truth. I, I knew that this was what was necessary in order for me to, to, to grow, okay? I found out the name of Yahweh, okay, and his son, Yahweh Shah, okay? Um, I found out that I was an Israelite, okay? And so on and so forth, okay? So, one of the reasons why I cried, okay, which is more to, to it than, than just that, was because I found out that this was, this truth was treasure. Okay? So I'm going to get this scripture, Matthew 13 and 44. Okay? It says, um, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. Okay? And the field is the world. The which, when a man has found, he hides and for joy there thereof goes and sell all that he has and buys that field. Okay? And at that time, you know, I was watching tons and tons of videos, you know, every day. Okay? Before I even came into the truth, okay? And once I found out the name of the Lord and I prayed, okay, the only group that I was watching was great millstone okay and once i prayed to the the father okay this is before i cried okay once i prayed unto the lord i woke up found out the truth okay i um i prayed to the lord and uh the lord well it was a when i was asleep an angel okay came to me in my sleep and it said that i'm not learning false prophecy but my life would get harder for me for here on out. Okay? So, like I said, this is before I cried. Okay? That 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 voice came to me in my sleep. And the only group that I was watching was Great Millstone. Okay? So as I'm watching and I'm studying the videos, okay, and I'm realizing, like, this is the truth. Like, it's crazy. And then I'm seeing um, other, you know, brothers and stuff like that that I haven't met. Okay? I met him now, but I haven't met at that time when I first came into the truth. And I, you know, had this feeling like I knew these brothers before. 
that was a, a, a special feeling. You know, it was something that I couldn't uh, put my finger on. Okay? But the, the thing is that, that that voice said that, you know, I'm not learning false prophecy. So, you know, imagine like coming into the truth and, you know, something like that just happens to you. Like, it just changes your whole, like, being. You know what I'm saying? So, like, basically, I repented. I, you know, I, you know, I told the Lord that, you know, like I said, I came into the truth and I knew that there was no turning back for me. You know, can't go back into the world. Okay, so I, you know, I, I vowed to to serve the Lord for the rest of my life. Okay, so continuing on, it says again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man. Seeking good, goodly pearls, who, when he found, when he has found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Okay. This this truth is is extremely precious, man. Okay, beyond anything that I can put into words. So continuing on with the the, the testimony. Um. According to the prophecies, a lot of people aren't going to make it, okay? So as I'm learning the truth, okay, and I'm realizing like, yo, this is this is extremely precious. The woman that I was with, <laughs> she wasn't liking the fact that I was watching all the videos, okay? She, she hated it, okay? And, um... You know, you coming to the truth and a lot of people, you know, you say you don't believe in, you know, celebrating birthdays or holidays and stuff like that. A lot of people can't take that, you know. And and I was telling people that, you know, and, and they didn't accept it. You know, coming into the truth is, first coming into the truth is a, a hard thing, okay. And, and that's one of the reasons why you have to endure until the end, okay. Now... As I'm learning the truth and, and growing, okay, not even, you know, I'm not going to say I was, uh, 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 I don't know how long I was in the truth, you know, at that point in time, probably watching like four or five days of videos or whatever. I had uh, ended up calling my gra my grandmother, okay, and it's, it's crazy because, you know, I didn't know anybody at that time, you know, and I felt like my grandmother was somebody that, I could talk to about the truth but as I'm talking to her on the phone she didn't understand anything that I was saying you know it was like it was just going in one ear and out the other okay and this is the point where I started crying because I realized that everybody isn't meant to get this precious truth okay so here I am you know, on the phone, and I'm telling my grandmother, okay, my 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 my, my chick that I was with what was was being a demon, okay. And and I lost everything in my life, okay. And here I am, you know, finding this truth, and and and, and you know, <laughs> that that voice came to me, okay, and it said that this this is the truth, okay. Behold, like this is the truth, and, and and then you go into the scriptures and they say, you know, that the Lord, <laughs> the Lord is the one who chooses you. You don't you don't wake up and and, and uh, choose to serve the Lord. Okay, I didn't just wake up and just be like, yo, I want to get into the scriptures, man. You know, this is what I want to do. Okay, this is John fifteen and sixteen. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ha and ordained you. That you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you should ask and the, of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Okay, so you don't wake up just one day and just say, I wanna, I wanna follow this truth. This is what I want to be. The Lord wakes you up. Okay? And the and and talking to my grandmother at that point in time, and she didn't understand what. I was saying, okay, and I'm sitting up here 
on the phone crying, and it, she was like, what, what you crying for? Like, you don't even understand, like, how precious this truth is. How precious the Lord is. The, the, the things that are, that are about to come, and, and our people aren't going to wake up. You know, our loved ones. Okay? And that's, that, that was a, 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 a moment, you know, where I was like, it, a lot of people ain't going to get it. Jeremiah 6 and 19, Here, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. And that's what, what's going to happen. A lot of people, they're rejecting the Lord. Okay? I'm sitting up here telling my friends, you know, trying to tell them about, you know, the name of the Lord, Yahweh. Okay? And they sitting up here, uh, I'm saying, you know, praise, praising Yahweh. And they sitting up here um, making jokes and saying uh, praises to Jawan Howard. So I'm sitting up here like, yo, like, supposed to be my man. You know why you, why, I ain't never do you wrong. If you, if you needed it, you know, you could have it. But these, these people, they just got demons on them. You know? And it's the 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 the, the only thing that's gonna it, it is when when the Lord returns, and these people, you know, see the lap getting beamed up, and they're gonna realize that oh, it's, it's the scriptures and songs of Solomon say. I mean, yeah, song. I mean, uh, the wisdom of Solomon. We 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 thought that this was a madman, and that's what a lot of people they look at us as. Is a madman for teaching his truth. And as you grow into this, this word, you're gonna understand that why these people are, are are gonna get destroyed. Okay? Because they they rejecting the Lord. They they got evil thoughts. A lot of these people just wanna wake up, smoke their weed, you know, and 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 Watch power or whatever other bullshit that they do, man. Watch some some sports, man. That's all people want to do. Deuteronomy 30, 30, 30 and 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set you before you, you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that thou and, and thy seed may live. And a lot of people, they don't choose life. They 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 choosing the ways of death. You you we understand that we went to the to, to slavery because of what our people did, you know, and not and, and rejecting the Lord. Okay. It says that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and a lot of people hate the Lord, man. And that thou mayest obey his voice. And a lot of people aren't obeying his voice. And that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is your life and the length of your days. That thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto, the fa unto your fathers. To Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. Okay, Micah 6 and 2. Hear you, O mountains, the Lord's controversy. And he and you strong foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with his people, and he will plead with Israel. O my people, what have I done unto you? And wherein have I worried you? Testify against me. And these people can't, can't, or, or, or don't even understand. Okay, they can't, they can't bring up a, a, a case against the Lord. Okay, but guess what? You, you people have a, 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 a huge case, okay? From the Lord, the Lord have a, a, a controversy with y'all, with our people. Okay, and that's that's one of the reasons why, cause cause <laughs> you don't want to get destroyed from the Lord, man. Okay, you you just you you don't, man. It's Amos three and six, so a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid. 
You come into this truth and you hear about the prophecies that the Lord is going to destroy America with thermonuclear missiles. Okay? That two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. And guess what? That, that we have an opportunity to be saved if we are of the Lord's chosen. And that, I'm, Lord willing, I can do a video on it. But, you know, imagine that feeling that, that the elect will have when they, they're in them chariots, man. Because those chariots are part of the, 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 uh, the trumpet that's going to come. The people are, people are going to be afraid when, when they actually see those chariots coming. So there be an evil in a city and the Lord have not done it. And you got a lot of evils, especially out here in Baltimore, people getting killed, got gunned down. And people don't even, people don't, don't they, they just acting like it's just a normal thing. But, but us... That's in the know. We know we want to get away from that. We don't want to. We don't want to be a part of that, because the Lord is the one who's who's. It says that have the and the Lord have not done it. We don't want the Lord to bring judgment on us. Okay, it says surely, surely the Lord God will do nothing, but He reveals His secret unto His servants, the prophets, and it's a blessing to be you know to to understand these secrets, and that's why when I understand when I I understand now that when I talk to my my grandmother at that time she didn't understand because it's a secret it's not meant for everybody to get you know especially not at that at, at that time like how, how can you how can i tell somebody i'm just i'm new to it you know <clears throat> the lion has roared who will not fear the lord god has spoken but who who can but prophesy <clears throat> Revelation 21 and 4. And Yahweh Shemuel shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And this is one of the things that we have hope for. Okay, what well, which we know that this is gonna happen. Okay, because it's written in the word, man. Okay? You gotta actually believe in what's what this these scriptures say, man. Okay? Take take it, you know, the Lord, the Lord is not one that he's a lie, man. Okay, so when he said that he's going to wipe away all our tears, it's not going to be a reason for us to, to, to cry no more. Okay, it says, and there shall be no more death because our people ain't going to die no more. They're going to die on this side, but in the kingdom, they're not going to die no more. It says, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So in the kingdom, it's going to be a blessing for our people because all of our people the Lord is going to program them to 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 choose life okay even though they they choose in death the the it's, it's it's a beautiful feeling that we were chosen to be the people who 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 choose life okay so with that man I want to say shalom